Hi guys, welcome back to Topic Tuesday. We are here with Carrie, and we're gonna be talking about her store. It is online, and they're gonna see, you know, how she likes Texas. Yeah. So, how do you like it? We love it. I'm from Texas, but I've been gone for six years in Hawaii, and so we weren't sure about El Paso before we came here because I'd never been here before, and we've been really pleasantly surprised. We love it. And I love the cold weather and getting to wear jackets right now. It's nice, huh? Yeah, and be close to our family and friends again. It's really nice. So tell us, how did you um, start your business? So my best friend and I met in college, and we are more like sisters. We, even with me being so far away, um, we've kept in touch and we talk almost every day. And we both come from different professional backgrounds and really just wanted to try something together as more of a creative outlet and something where we could kind of enjoy mm -hmm. a little, like it started off as like a side project. And so we're hoping that it grows into more than a side project. And um, what are you guys carrying? Because I know you're saying that you're going to do different things. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we have, um, it's all women's clothing, pretty much for any age, I mean, around, you know, 18 up to 60s. My mom is 65 and she's wearing some of our stuff yeah. and it's really cute, so yeah. it's pretty versatile. Um, the style is more, I and mean, we have some like funky pieces and then we have kind of like a southwestern flair, um, like what do you think of like Austin, Martha style, um, and then also like kind of like a bohemian kind of a feel. Um, but we have we have like accessories and and bags and um, a lot of sweaters and jackets and, and and what when you guys started creating your line what things did you guys come across um, in building your web your web page oh like as far as like the business side of things yeah so, so we we have it's definitely been a learning experience um, we kind of came into it naive and, and we really like tried to do our research as much as possible and be prepared. Um, but we have run into some problems um, like with our website build out and it just that kind of thing taking a lot longer than we thought it would and, mm -hmm. and being able to communicate about the style that we are wanting and the feel we're kind of going for. Um, so that has been a challenge, but now we're kind of on the other side of it where we've We've, we've overcome that, yeah. yeah. And so it's getting better. Our website currently is being revamped, um, oh, and so cool. we're really excited. It should be ready by this time next week. Um, and then as far as, like, other business aspects of it, I mean, we've had to learn everything as far as going to market and trying to figure out how much do we buy, who is our target audience going to be, like, what – what do people want to wear, you know, like, should we buy things that really only we like or kind of try to get a variety? Um, and how, how did you guys decide on that? Or, like, how did that go about? Um, so we basically kind of just went with things, like, went with our gut, like, things that we find, you know, attractive or fun. Mm -hmm. um, and because we just really enjoy, like, clothing and getting dressed. And, right. um, like, when I think about... Starting all of this, so Ashley, we met in college, and she's always had really good style, and she was really confident with it, you know, and we lived together, and I didn't really, I wasn't very confident, and so she would get dressed, you know, and be like, oh, you look so cute, and I'm wearing, you know, like, a t-shirt and jeans, and she would be like, you could wear this too, like, you can totally pull that off, and she's so good about telling people that, you know, like, always, like, you can totally pull this off. Like, no one knows that you wouldn't normally wear this kind of thing, you know? And so I've tried to, like, have that mantra. And, I mean, that was years ago. So I think, like, she really helped me, like, develop a sense of style. And we kind of just want to be able to bring that to other girls. And we're always telling our friends, like, no, you totally can pull that off. Like, that's beautiful. Yeah. I like, I like that because, you know, we hear a lot of, like, oh, that's your style or that's your style. And it's like, no, like, you can just grab whatever and yeah. just, like, recreate yourself every morning. Right. And yeah. That, and that's beautiful. Exciting. Yeah. I was looking on your Instagram and I was going through some of the pieces and I, I was like, oh, I love this and I love this. And um, your page just screams out, like, you write Austin, South mm -hmm. Texas. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very, very, very chic. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we're trying to find things like, 
unique that you wouldn't see all the time and carry some more local, smaller merchants that people don't even know about um, and also represent like some local, um, you know, like Texas brands. So we're, I don't know, just trying to support other small businesses mm -hmm. and um, make it like just more unique, something that you wouldn't just see that everybody else has the same thing. Though. I mean, you're very dead on because yeah. <laughs> I mean, I when I got into Instagram, it was very, very, I mean, appealing to the eye. Oh, good. <laughs> and how and how has media changed your life? Um, so I mean, so far there hasn't been much change. I mean, we're in the very beginning stages of everything. Um, so I would say mostly it's just having to be really present and trying to figure out like okay this is what we're doing this week like this is the direction we're going in and just trying to be planned and organized mm -hmm. with our lives and um really know the direction that we're going in mm -hmm. and you know it, it, planning is so i think it doesn't matter at any stage in business i feel planning is always like a good thing to do <laughs> yeah no for sure yeah this has definitely made me be more organized <laughs> uh, and any obstacles you ran into i mean other than really like just the web build out mm -hmm. um it hasn't it hasn't been terrible I mean we've there have been things where like oh we had no idea you know learning the ropes of just like the whole business side of it because it is like it's fun buying the clothes and and picking out things you like but then managing like and should we have bought this much or you know that yeah. kind of thing is is you're always kind of questioning yourself and that's good to know too, because you know, because you just never know, you know. Right. And I think the entrepreneur will appreciate that because I think, especially in retail, you're just gonna never know. Right. And right. You kind of just have to like take the risk. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. And I think there's always something for everybody. Mm -hmm. And I think that is something that you, we can appreciate from your page. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. Um. How do you guys delegate? Because now there's two of you, there's two owners. How do you guys delegate um, who does what? Yeah, so um, we're that is one of our strong suits, I think, um, because we know each other so well. Um, she's a mom of two little boys, which also factors into what we're, you know, trying to, like, build confidence in women. Like, even after you have a baby, showing, like, hey, you can wear this, and, like, this is cute for you like you're you don't have to sacrifice style like after becoming a mom and it's so very true she really brings that side of it and that awareness because I don't have any kids yet but um with her being a mom and um recently her husband had had to take a job in another state and so they haven't been in the same place and she's moving up there soon but things have been really hectic on her and so I've take it on a little bit more but then it always balances out because then whenever I'm busy like starting with work or whatever it is like she's able to jump in and carry mm -hmm. it so we've had it it's been really nice um just knowing kind of what our needs are and being there for each other and like we just can trust each other so it's a good relationship that's very true yeah. right and yeah. I, I like that um how is packaging going in at home like when you're packaging and shipping that out yeah, um, so it's crazy. I think we need to have a storage space <laughs> because, yeah, my husband's like, this is, we cannot keep this room like this. It's just boxes. Um, so, I mean, we, it's pretty easy though because we can send everything from our door unless it's going to be priority or something, then we, um, can take it in ourselves if we wanted to send it by like UPS or Oh, okay, or so you're doing yeah. USPS? Um, yes, so we have like the just the standard ground shipping. Oh, cool! Uh -huh. And then if it if if you you have the option to select for prior priority. Oh, that's for, nice. for faster shipping. Yeah, awesome. Um, what are your goals in the next two years with the business? Where do you see yourself? Um, I would say it would be great if we. We're at a comfortable place where, what you know, here? Um, I think we would want to be able to not have to have to have our other jobs that we have right now, but, but do them just because we enjoy doing them. So for this to be like our main source of income would be nice. Yeah, I, I think that it's, it's doable. I think that sometimes a risk of just like, um, I shouldn't say risk because I'm sure my wife is going to watch this and say nothing's a risk, she's that is an accountant. <laughs> but yeah. I think that sometimes you just have to like jump in yeah. and then everything works out, you know? Yes. Um, if I could share a little bit. 
when I first opened, I didn't think that I would have Laura full time, or I didn't think that I would have each other, you know, other people helping either. And I, you know, now we're here, but a year, well, not a year, I would say a year and a half from ago, and I feel like, you know, every little goal that you have for yourself. I mean, it's a stepping stone to where you need to be. Yeah. You know, and Rome, it wasn't built in a day. Right. It's, and even though I see myself doing different things in two years, three years, you just have to take that first step into, um, I'm going to say another quote, like walking through faith, you know, mm -hmm. because well, <laughs> it was funny on Sunday I was driving. Um, so, I mean, I just feel like walking through faith is something that I, I've been doing for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, and what are your inspirations? Um, I mean, I, I kind of get inspired often by other people. Um, so there's like different influencers who are Ooh. inspiring to me. My favorite is, um, the Salty Blonde. Oh, she's yeah. In Hawaii. Do you know who she is? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like she's really like, she's confident, but she's also kind of self-deprecating and like, you know, can like laugh at herself and she's so cute and just has like I don't know a good spirit and so I'm really inspired by her and I know she works really hard um and then I think other people I'm inspired by I don't know my mom always always worked like she would have probably loved to stay home but she worked and then at night would always like make dinner for us and you know make, like made time for us and so I feel like just having like those kind of role models in your life, it's like, okay, like mm -hmm. she did that, you know, I can do this kind of thing. Like when even, you know, if things feel challenging, like you just kind of like think of people in your life that have gone through worse or who have had it harder. Yes. And take inspiration from that. From that, yeah. yeah. Always seeing the glasses half full. Right? Yes, yes. I love that. Um, it's almost Christmas. Are you ready? Um, not at all. <laughs> no. I actually was talking to my mom today and trying to figure out who all I need to get guests for for, like, family Christmas and everything. And I was like, um, I like to online shop, so I'll probably have to start doing that soon so it gets here in time. Yeah, I think it's, like, next week. It's, like, your last week. Yes. I probably, yeah. I kind of have to. You're like, go home now. <laughs> <laughs> I can go in person to places. So it just... And are you going to stay here for Christmas? Uh, no, we're going to go see our family. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, so I live like, kind of by Adeline, and then my sister-in-law is in Lubbock. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get to go see my husband's family and my family. And then we're going to Arizona for my father-in-law's birthday. Oh, how nice. So yeah. you're going to be everywhere. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, the special news is that on Saturday, we're going to have a pop-up here. So you guys all get to see and come try out some clothes. Yeah. She'll have some pretty pieces here. And where can we find you online? Um, so our website is alterwest.com. It should be up and ready by this time next week. Um, our Instagram is alter underscore west. And those are our main ones so far. Okay. Yeah. And um, if you can tell an entrepreneur anything, what would it be? Um, I guess I would say, like, don't be afraid to try something new. I know it's scary. It definitely was for me and Ashley. And, you know, we kind of have talked about this for a long time. But I think if you just have faith in yourself and kind of, like, don't always think of other people as being so different from you. And you're like, if that person can do it, I can too. So it's it's rewarding to take risks sometimes. Well, we are so glad that you came in for Topic Tuesday, and we can't wait to see you grow. Thank you. I'm so excited. Thanks for having me. Of course, and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.